maybe Andy Warhol, nobody seems to be able to capture the essence of a person. Perhaps you'd prefer a landscape, then. No, what I really like are those gigantic canvases with splotches of violent color and maybe a nose over here and a, an arm over there and a couple of green lamb chops floating in the middle. That's art. Still, you must admit, this particular portrait does have a certain appeal. Not for me. It's hard to believe that she would allow herself to be seen so unguarded. You think? Helena's two legendary qualities are her vanity and her treachery. But don't you like to look at that? I assure you, I am perfectly capable of judging my mother realistically. Then why is this down here? Why the private peep show? Read into it what you like. Thank you. Either she's down here so that you can tell your mother everything is on your mind without her ripping your tongue out, or you and Mommy are a lot closer than anybody realized. Actually, I was expecting you. Catherine informed me she told you I was once in love with your wife. I knew that would bring you here. Well, if you were once in love with my wife, or if you think you are now, all I can say is your taste in women is a hell of a lot better than your taste in art. A conversation I had with Catherine regarding the past may have left more room for interpretation than I had intended. There was a time when I convinced myself the pity I felt for Laura, for her situation on our island, was love. Of course, I didn't act on that sentiment, and she never knew. Then when she abandoned her infant son, and his father was murdered, that fantasy quickly evaporated. The reality is the only feeling I have left for your wife is disdain. Interesting. But you'll pardon me if I really have no interest in going further with this. I don't have time for your fantasy, emotional life, particularly regarding my wife. I'm here for other reasons. This is brain to make sure that he believed he couldn't exist in the big bad world without her, so that when he becomes 18 and he takes over the family jewels. She'll be the one holding the diamond tiara. <laughs> Personally, I don't care about any of this, except that now Mommy Dearest has got her wire hanger in Lucky. And I have to get it out. Well, why not take it up with her? Given your friendship, she may be receptive. She knows how I feel. I think it's time you know how. You see, in that uh, bubbling tar pit between your mother's ears, she's got Lucky and Nicholas interchangeable. And what that means is, whatever happens to one of them will most certainly happen to the other. What are you suggesting? Figure it out. I am perfectly capable of protecting Nicholas on my own. My suggestion is you do the same with Lucky. Now, why not take the stairs as you leave? They're much more convenient than the secret passages. No, thanks. I don't want to get hit by any more skeletons falling out of the closet. I'll find my way out. You know, maybe you ought to hang her. Or maybe you ought to save her and give her to the boy on his 18th birthday, along with a bulletproof vest. <laughs> 